Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Okay, I'm gonna paint today with pastels. I just uh, bought yesterday this set of, uh, what is it here? Okay, I'm gonna show you the colors. It's a 24 set. Okay, and I bought this one, this uh, mini 72 soft pastels. Okay, here I have this one here. Look at the beauty. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, more. Okay, one second, please. I'm gonna start using the, the Toys on Dior. I think uh, they are a little bit softer than the fabric Castero. Okay, and for paper, I have here this is the paper. This Fabriano, Tiziano. I have used this paper before. Okay, it says acid free, 160 grams. I need to get closer to my camera because you know brushes I got some distance when I use brushes but not uh, for pastel I get to get really close here okay uh, let's see first you know with pastel it's about layers since we don't have every color of, of a, a, every area on the face or the background we basically will build up the colors with after adding more and more layers. What I want also is to get thicker slowly, okay? Thicker and thicker. Uh, the good thing about soft pastels is just that lighter colors go on top of darker colors really easily. I mean, it's not, but we can mix it. Obviously, we, we should mix sometimes. But it's better, uh, I have here a recommendation using always hard pastels first and then soft but it's up to it's up to you okay uh, let's see first I got skin color some greenish skin color reddish this kind of dark blue for the background okay I'm gonna start with this brown if somebody has the same set I don't know if there's half a number oh no sorry okay uh, let's see Another tool that we could use is a palette knife. I bought this too. We could use with pastel this too. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. This is more from pan pastels, but, but we could use it with any pastel. Hello Monique, hello Jonas. Hmm. Okay. I wanna get this dark color everywhere first. Okay. 
No. Green. Got green here. Okay, another green here. Let's just this. I oh, don't like it. Okay, I got this what looks like a mm, like uh, you know like li a light brown I mean this is my process with pastels usually I go you know one color and then I add another one on top and I started to feel the, the beauty let's say of pastel when I got enough pastel on, on, on my paper because when it's really thin I cannot do anything yet I need I need to get it, get it a little bit thicker okay I got this but it looks like a pink here Color. Okay, let's see. Hello, Eric. Uh, who is like the sound of the drawing with pastels? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> is that a special brush you use? There, there to wire it down. No, no, this is a uh, palette knife, a plastic palette knife. That's the one that you use to paint to draw with pen pastels. Yeah. It's pretty nice. You just uh, let's say that get make the pastel get into the tooth of the paper I love it yeah. Yeah, instead of using my fingers I could use this for blending hmm? yeah, pretty nice Okay, uh, let's see, let's put more colors, I got this green, a beautiful green. Obviously you can use your fingers too. I painted with pastels for years, uh, but I stopped at some point and just all your, all your paint become uh, my thing, you know, for years. But I, I painted with pastels because of uh, I was getting some commissions, mostly for that. I remember I painted with uh, it was twenty four maybe for well it was for five years. Everything it was about pastels portraits. That was pretty nice, you know. The only thing I don't like about pastels, and I didn't like that at that time, is just uh, you gotta re be really careful, and 
you cannot add varnish unle unless you know you find a really really pretty good expensive varnish but usually every varnish is going to knock down the color okay and that's kind of annoying when you try to preserve the drawing your painting and you add a you know a little bit of varnish and basically all the values just you knock down all the values yeah what you gonna do i mean just paint over again that's pretty annoying but besides that you take care of the, your drawings your paint is pretty good you're gonna stay you know like perfectly for years okay Need a dark green. Okay. I have the other set here. Okay, this one I think is Different colors, one on top of the other. Blue, it's kind of purple. This, it's just this. like this this tool it works pretty good just for the first layer yeah. hello Michael Black, just a little bit, just for drawing, just a tiny bit, okay. When I'm squinting, I need to see the darker shapes. And uh, let me see, any darker color I have here that's no black, I think this is the darker one. Hello Muki, Muki is asking, will, will plexiglass hold pastel color? I use plastic bag and the pigment doesn't hold wear. Yeah, I, what I have done, I, what I have seen, you know, people do just frame it with a glass that is not touching the, the paint. And that usually works pretty good. never got too many colors you know at the time that I was painting a lot with pastels but today I'm planning to buy a lot of colors I mean not today today I mean now now <laughs> in these days these days okay a little bit of black 
and I just here okay let me see uh, I'm just going to my eyes and uh, okay I'm going to just add some darker values okay what I see is here on the eyes okay here's darker darker all this darker and darker here okay Hello, Mr. Herb, Herb Jones. I very much appreciate your, te your teachings. Well, thank you. How can I donate to you to you show to you to show my appreciation? You really helped me a lot. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, there is on the description box there is a link to coffee. You know, that's that's a pretty good way uh, to donate or. Here there is a bottom of this, the super super shot. Here there is a couple of options there. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's a good thing about pastels, you can add any color and you put another color on top and you mix it. That's beautiful. White. It's not gonna stay white unless you press harder and just leave it like that. As soon as you mix it, okay, you got a new color. Okay. Oops, that's the only thing that <laughs> you gotta be careful is it's broken. Hello, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bot Cuta. This this uh, this actor, I think, is for for a series. I don't remember the name. Oh, something like dragons. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of orange. Look at this orange. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see this red. Now you control how much paint, how much color you add. You can just go lightly like this and blend it. Yeah? That would be different than doing something like this. And then you can add green on top. And you knock down the red. Yeah? 
I remember when I used to paint, I, I have a set, uh, and it was a color that was just, looked like a skin color. It was amazing. That's the color that I used to use a lot. And I remember buying like two, three boxes just because of that color that they don't sell those colors just, you know, one by one. You gotta buy a set. Got some pimp stair here. Let's see how it works. Hello, Nikki. Or oh, maybe it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the, that's, that's the one. He's a really evil character, yeah? Oh, I didn't know. Hello, Andre. It's Sir Bolton. Okay, hello, Nikki. Nikki saying, Reyes, I need this pastel lesson, so I send you a thank you buddy eraser coming April 8th. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Now that I got some colors, I'll start just uh, trying to be more more accurate about about mixing the colors okay okay let's see let's see okay this is black I'm checking just and seeing around where I see the darker darker values the darker possible values Here, the background very dark and that you know, creates a nice contrast here on the top of the head, of the forehead. Uh, well, so the values here kind of melt down. Okay, here the, like, we need black here. Okay. Just this. Oh no. Just my fingers. Getting closer slowly to where I think is the forehead and I wanna keep a soft edge in there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. 
Okay, Monique is saying it gets expensive. You have to buy an entire set to replace one color stick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I uh, still got the set here that I used to use like a long time ago. I found it, but doesn't have any colors. It was uh, uh, this was the set, Novel Carré Pasteur. Uh, you know, I don't remember exactly where I bought this. Uh, but look at that. It has really nice colors. Okay, let, let, let me try some of them. It's green. I like it. Uh, this is the color that I was speaking about. Look at this color. It just looks like a skin color, eh? That's pretty nice. This this set has been just here for 20 years. 20? More, more than 20 years. Yeah. I started to paint in these pastel portraits when I was in the second year of the School of Art as a student, you know. Now this is black. I'm using black because I want to get this darker value. We could use any color on top of black. But if you don't like black, don't use it. But for me, I need to get to the darker possible value here to be able to judge all the other values. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's use this orange for the rim light here. light blue okay let's see and check another light mint just a diagonal you know it goes up to the upper to the eyebrow sorry Eyebrow. Yeah. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Nicole. Okay, let's see, Andre saying, I did my first oil painting after watching your videos. Oh, that's pretty nice, and Andre. Now I'm going to do my first pastel drawing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, on my channel, there are at least four or five pastel drawings. This is not the first one here. It's just it's just that I bought uh, a new set of pastels. Yeah, it's just that. Okay, I got some, oh, thank you so much, Herbert, Herbert Jones. I got a super huge cup of coffee. Yeah, and I'm gonna get the coffee tonight. 
even the, my blood pressure go really high. It doesn't matter, you know. I'm gonna do it for you. <laughs> You see, I'm counting on basically shapes. If you squint down your eyes, you're trying to see, you know, this, some similarities here and there. What I mean, I'm not relying uh, on copying, on um, translating the image to lines. It's more about values. Everything is about values here. Darker there, darker here. Okay, darker here. And obviously, you gotta change how much pressure you put on your hands, on your fingers. It's just like oil paint, where you press down a lot with the brush, or sometimes pretty lightly. It's the same here. You can go lightly, you can press harder. It depends what you want. You know, I do it that, I change my pressure basically when I want, I don't want to see the texture of the paper. I don't want to see the tooth, the paper tooth which is pretty common, you know, it's because sandpaper, it has that. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of tooth. Okay. okay. If I add too much green, I'm just gonna add red on top. I'm gonna knock it down the, the green. Okay. Or brown. Brown works pretty good too. You know, brown is a dark orange. It works pretty nice. Okay, I love the softness that they got here. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Oh, oh wow. Looks like Wendy, Nicole, uh, Nikki, Monique. You all have seen my previous live stream, you know. That was pretty nice, yeah, the pen pastero. Yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. I'm planning to buy a, a set of you know, pen pastero. I just bought one, I just bought, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, oof, it here is. No, I, I, I'm scared because I have this little cat. <laughs> she, you know, here's the one that I bought. <clears throat> As you see, I'm going slowly. Values. The good thing that I got a lot of soft, soft edges. And at some point, I'm going to start just sharpening some edges. Okay. Just slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. 
squinting down my eyes, comparing. Okay, make it black. You see, I'm adding colors, but I'm paying attention to values, you know, where it's darker. And when you squint down your eyes, you see so clear, you know, dark, dark here, dark here, here and here, you know, but I'm not going to use black. Maybe a little bit of black, but uh, wait, you know, I got to just continue checking out the whole head. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's read some question. Fingers are underrated. Underrated. Even your your fingers disease. <laughs> so so. <laughs> okay. You know the little cut <coughs> comes here to my space and start biting the, the cables. Okay, black again for the eye. I think I'm ready to add a sharp edge in there. Pretty light on the oh, here. Oh, oh. I just saw my, my drawing on the screen, it looks pretty, pretty dark. Pretty light, sorry. And it's darker, I think that's better, yeah. Hmm. I need to turn off my light. I don't see the values on the on the first one.
Yeah, I need to make everything dark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there an oil painting session tomorrow? Or oh, maybe. You know what? I bought some watercolors too. Where have you? Yeah, I wanna try everything. <laughs> uh, hello, AJ Silla. Is there is there a way to know which color to add at the start, for example, on the color wheel? Also, what are the advantages of layering it instead of going straight in for the actual color? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, the thing is that I don't have there. I mean, I don't think there exists a like the perfect right answer to that question. But and you know, uh, I consider my, myself a oil painter. I painted with pastels a lot, but I not get to that point like a, a pastel painter to get like a hundred colors. Like when I see a professional, let's say, pastel painters, that they usually uh, have that that amount of colors. I understand it, you know, it's just like you want more. You like it something and you want more. That's the feeling I, 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 I got when I bought this, you know, uh, I got a, a, a set. I did paint it like uh, three, four videos with this set. That was enough, okay? And then I moved to a 24 yesterday I bought this 24 color and this 72 and you know what I'm pretty sure maybe if I see a like a hundred color set maybe I'm gonna buy them it looks like it's the normal process of you know with oil paint it's like we move the same way but we don't got to this, that extreme to have a hundred colors and it looks like having basically a, a color for each area. It's just, it's just like you look for, I don't know if I'm saying that way. No, no, no. I'm saying that looks like that way because it, you have so many colors. You think, okay, I can pick up one color and it just matches this area and that's it. Why mixing? Okay, first, for me, you know, uh, and I'm speaking, I want to be clear, I'm not a professional pastel painter. For me, uh, first, I like when the pastel paint, the pastel, the, you know, the, the pastel get, gets a little bit thicker, even that it's not thick like oil paint. But adding just one layer, it's not going to be enough to, to soften it, to blend it, okay? That's my reason why I 
I go over one layer and the other. Another reason I would be about color. Why? Because you don't want just one color on anything you paint. Okay? You want some color variety. If you paint something and just you see one color, if you know, no, you, you, you just kind of, um, I don't know, saving time, I don't know what's going to be, but when you don't have color variety, you're not using color contrast between saturation, desaturation, simultaneous contrast, you know, all the possible contrasts that exist out there. Okay, we need that. For example, the light, the color on the light is not just one, one color. The color on the light depends on the color of the light, or the sunlight, the skylight, anything. Okay, that's gonna change the color that you see on the light. Another thing is uh, a reflected light, and on top of that, when you start to start with st starting to st study contrast color theory you started to realize that you can apply contrast to every area. That's why sometimes on my paintings, you see a skin color and you're gonna see the highlight is kind of green, like a highlight green. Why is that? Because the green is gonna glow because it's in a different environment. Okay, now, it's not like you add a green, it looks too greenish, that, that I mean, that's not okay you have to uh, be able to control how green that looks. You mix the color. The thing is that it's not about just lighting up one color with white. It's about using contrast. And that's not gonna happen. I don't think that's, I, you know, I don't think that's gonna happen if you just go straight forward with. with. It's just like buying a set of oil paints, that's it. You know, the, the, you see there the skin color. Okay, I mean, pretty sure that it could be pretty useful for a base a skin color, but it's not gonna solve the problem of all the color variety on the skin. Maybe for the first layer, that's gonna be pretty useful, but thinking that that's gonna be, you know, the solution, yeah. okay. Hmm. Yeah, and that, that's when uh, you need to add more and more colors. Now, uh, what else I was about to say? Oh no, I was thinking about the, the, the eye. I was, thinking, I was thinking about the likeness, just one second. Because I added, you know what? I added more and more values. I think I, I got something that looks closer, yeah? You see? I think, <laughs> obviously not so sure yet. Just, I'll be back in one, just one second. Okay. See more questions. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. The likeness. I need to pay attention to the drawing. The thing is, and I'm not still on that point that to buy like 200 colors that I have seen. And it made me think that 
a professional pastel painter wanted to use all each color for each area but when I see a professional pastel painter painting I see uh, I see them doing the same adding layers and layers and layers no it's not like they they have it's not because they have like a hundred colors that they just use like the, it's just like pick up one color for this area one for this area one for this area no no I don't see them doing that More questions, please. More questions. I love questions. Okay, uh, the first sharp edge is going to be here on the nose. Okay, I need to use some pencils for this. I got another set here or Stabilo. Carbon Tail or Stabilo. Pencils. Okay, let's see. Mm. It's a set of just 24 colors, that's not too much. <laughs> that was the answer, you know. I need 100 colors. What is this one? See, uh, Nikki saying it, it is it best to blend earlier in the process and leave the bold fresh marks for the last. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, like a really important difference. Uh, it depends on the style you want, but I have seen paintings just like, looks like they didn't blend anything, and if you see a blending, it just looks like it's just because 
putting more and more layers on top with just that. Okay. And yeah. Yeah, to say something, I would say that, that, that yeah, it could be a good option. Yeah. Why not? Now, one thing that maybe some people are not going to like about posters is that when you start blending and you got more colors, you're starting to get some milky colors. It's just like because it got mixed here, light and darker colors. Okay, you gotta be aware that that's going to happen. And the only way that does not happen is if you just add more saturation or don't blend that much. Okay. And but you know it's up to up to you what to do and when to do it. Hello Sylvia, hello Bacon, Beacon of Beauty, thank you. for sure you know now that now I know why pastel painter they have a lot of a huge table I know where to put these boxes <laughs> and this more it's more a table they're gonna put it down here yeah. okay I was thinking oh about the darks yeah
For me personally, for example, I don't know if it's a mistake, but I need to use black. Okay, now it's just like uh. I need to see a darker value, but that's me, okay? When I see, uh, I need the f to see the full range from white to black. And obviously, we know that we need the darker values because of then we see the lighter ones. Okay, now that's something that creates even more muddy colors. Okay. But the difference between with oil paints obviously is that we uh, I think it's easier to clean up a painting to clean muddy colors on pastel painting than cleaning from an oil paint. Yeah, because obviously it's a dry medium. Oil paints is just wet, it stays wet. How do you work on a wet surface without making mud sometimes? Yeah? See some questions. Uh, thank you, Janus. Hello, Mark. IAG Citizen, do you have any tips for blending with cheap coloring pencils? Because whenever I see people blending, it looks very smooth. How can I impro improve this? Yeah, I mean, you gotta check out some of my videos. Uh, the cheaper pastels I got. And I think I got some blend in there, and it's not perfect, but very enough. This ones, I don't use them. You know, this one. I'm gonna put it in front of the camera. Pit pastels. I found it pretty good. Okay, but when you try a softer pastel and a softer, a softer, you find them these ones kind of hard. And but. Obviously, when it's a pencil, it's not gonna be that soft. Otherwise, it's not gonna hold it. I mean, it's gonna just <laughs> end up like dust. Every pe uh, pencil is always a bit harder. But the thing is that, that's it, that maybe it was just $10, maybe a bit more, a bit less. But you got nice, I got nice paintings with those. Posters. Yeah. Now, one thing about materials. Okay, it, the thing is that you gotta pay. You know, the relationship between price and quality is pretty tight. Yeah, the only thing, the only the product that I find it that I can just use 
a maybe cheaper cheap materials are just the brushes and I mentioned that on my videos sometimes I paint with this one dollar you know brushes and they work pretty good but it depends you know I mean when I started the painting I do that and then I move to softer brushes Another, another thing that happens, for example, if you pick up cheaper canvases or, ch or cheaper, cheaper paper, yeah, you're going to struggle a lot putting the paint. You're going to think that it's even more difficult than it is, just, and that happens because of the material, the canvas or paper. That adds you know, to more difficulty to something that's already difficult. We don't, we don't want that. Yeah. Then so many, so many people think, oh my God, all your paints are, re are really, or, or anything, or pastels, just so hard. Okay, when it's all pastels, you need a nice paper. I'm not gonna say the expensive one, but you can afford the expensive one, perfect. Hello, Sharon.
without blending the color got mixed you see there you can add more colors but depending on the value you're gonna see a difference okay. you can grade it down I'm not using my fingers on this area and I ended up blending that area. Okay. You can just continue. Or just your fingers yeah. and blend it. You just go on top again, just without blending, just like that. Too greenish. Wow, it looks so greenish on the screen. <laughs> it's not a greenish. I'm gonna knock it down with some gray. I suppose I'm gonna get better the more I paint with pasteras. I'm planning to paint at least once a week. some blue Just in the corner of the, this stick, just to get the wrinkles. Okay, Chris, see you. Mm-hmm. 
a little bit of green here. dark gray what do you think is easier pastel oil paints watercolor Trying to use watercolor. Maybe I said that before, but I bought a set. <laughs> Now, like every every material, you know, I, I just went and said, you know, I don't want the cheaper one, not expensive one, yeah. something nice. What I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna change my setup here, my easel. Because I, I don't think I can I can work watercolor like acrylics. Maybe maybe it could be possible. I mean, what I mean, my my easel is uh, uh is, is you know it's flat, it's vertical, it's not tilted. Thing. And watercolor uses a lot of water, more water than acrylics. Yeah? Yeah, no way, I cannot work in like that. And I cannot work. On that. I have to find a table and move my camera to a position where I can show show the process. You know, when I when I have less colors, I just was thinking about mixing. Now that I have this 72 set, I'm just looking for the colors. Like, I see the, the photograph, I see my painting, and I'm looking for the color here. Which colors would it be? This one, this one. Yeah. Looks like that end up happening when you when you have a lot of colors. End up looking for like each a color for each area. I mean, that's what's happening to me now that I have this set of 72 colors. Like for the hair, for example. Which gonna be the blue? This one? I got four blues here.
go now and I'm trying each color that I have here and thinking, no, I need more colors. <laughs> Than blue. Mm. It's more greenish than bluish. Eh?
to the T. Yeah, but what it color is more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, for what I call it, I'm planning not to do what I usually do here that I don't draw. I just paint and draw at the same time. Yeah, for what I call it, we cannot do that. <coughs> but maybe we can. Yeah, it's good. It's good. it could be a mess. It could be really nice to try. Yeah. You try to keep some order here. Look at that. I'm picking up one and putting back. I pick up one and put it back. <laughs> so difficult to do. Pay attention to values, you know, not, nothing changed uh, about a process, about the process. Values are the same. If at the end you see some mistakes on my painting, your painting, that's going to be mostly because of values. And if the values are wrong, usually color is wrong. Okay, and... I need a pastel pencil. Okay, I need black. Oh, I don't have black. Okay, I need a charcoal pencil then. Then a charcoal pencil for the nose. Okay, it's pretty useful. Useful charcoal pencil is useful. Mhm. Mm Yeah. Hey, don't forget to press the like button, please. And if somebody's new to my channel, you can subscribe. You can join as a member. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, the ear. I was thinking about working on the ear and got distracted.
Andre say, Andre was one thing you can do with color vertically on an easel, yeah? I've seen Charles Evans doing it like this every painting. He does landscapes. Okay, I'm gonna take note, Charles Evans. Okay, let me look for here, Charles Evans, okay, okay. Charles Evans. What color? I'm gonna keep it here. Looking on, okay. Uh, let's see. There, yeah. I'm gonna check out later. The only difference is the landscape is not the same as a portrait, yeah, but uh, no. Uh, what I mean is, uh, it's easier to maybe hide some mistakes on the on the landscape than hide some mistakes on a portrait. <clears throat> we all know when something is off on the face. Yeah. But we all know when something is off on a on a landscape. Well maybe I should try uh Painting a still life first with watercolor, or maybe uh, a landscape too. But I'm not another professional landscape painter. Uh, it's like uh, you need to to get the best of each theme. You need to kind of specialize a bit more. Spending more time painting landscapes and especially landscapes, and portraits. Uh, but for example, for still lives, I think still life is something that we all can paint without kind of spending a lot of time. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, unless obviously you're trying to look for your own style, uh, that's different. <clears throat> okay, now what, uh, here's the, uh, where, I mean, at this stage you see, you know, you don't see the tooth of the paper. It means the painting, the pastel is pretty thick here. And about blending is easier to blend. Obviously, now there are more there are more pastel here than here on the background, for example, where we can see the tooth of the paper.
Try to clean the sponge. I want to blend the ear. The more I'm painting this with this tool, the more I'm thinking I want to get my hands on top of this uh, paint paster. Working with black pastel here, pen pastel. Hey, don't forget to press the like button. Did I say that already? <laughs> Hello Fabio, thank you Sylvia, hello Nolan, it's almost 4, I gotta post the photograph for tonight's drawing session, oh I say I have a question for AG Silla Pro, if you don't mind me asking how much detail of anatomy do you have to study at art school, oh yeah there was a, a subject that was anatomy it was for Full year. Yeah. We have to study anatomy for a year. That was a lot, yeah? The class, I think it was just twice a week. I mean that's when you uh, you're a portrait painter you want to become a professional portrait painter you need to study anatomy we need to when we study anatomy we see more you know we're trying to understand why uh, there is a bump here and there and we see the light always on the same spot over and over <coughs> It's just like uh, uh, I remember. Uh, I, rem I remember once I saw one of my friends. He, one of my friends. He, I remember he started to paint ab abstract paintings. And he was doing pretty good, pretty nice, beautiful paintings. The funny thing is that we thought that that was just easier. You know, painting an abstract painting is easier. You can get something nice just right away and that's not easy okay you need a lot of color theory to get some really nice paintings pretty nice color harmonies it's kind of every thing that you decide to to choose the thing you know you gotta just dip 
uh, dive deep to get more knowledge. I think the ear is too light. It's okay. Huh? No, I tried to put here some color. It's not taking that pretty good. I have to use my fingers. Uh, hello Jones is this is uh Pasteur. I think I have seen them skate pastel painters using alcohol. Wendy Nutali is saying that. Yeah. Yeah yeah I have seen too. Yeah. But uh, uh, we gotta prepare the paper for that, you know. Prepare the paper like you're about to use it to use for for watercolor. <clears throat>
light Almost two hours. Okay, let's see. I'm going to soon I need to see. The green looks pretty bright, yeah? It's not a bright. That glows as to see the paper. <laughs> you see? Oops, that was too close. I'm trying to get a soft edge here, a soft edge here too.
no the blue which blue blue and green okay, no a dark blue let's see if this works I need to add the shadow on the lower eyelid and then add the shadow here. This one is gonna is gonna be my magical pencil. Even that's pretty light. It helps a lot. Almost done. Almost done. Let me check out some questions if I see. <coughs> Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. Mm. Oh. People here speaking about fixatives or varnishes. Yeah, you know what? That's what I used to do when uh, when I was painting commissions, pastel commissions. People don't usually hear. They don't understand the, that why the pastel is just like like that, pretty soft and delicate. And they want to be something that you know. A pastel can, can can just last for years, like like an oil painting. Yeah, and but the thing is that you gotta be really careful. What I used to do to, to fix it, if I used to at that time, speaking of when I was a student. Okay, I look for so many varnishes and materials. And you know what I ended up using? I mean, I'm not recommending this. I'm just telling you a story when I, what I used to, to use. I ended up using a fixative or it was some kind of product for hair. For the hair, you know, to, to kind of keep the hair st stiff, steady. Okay, so somebody told me, some of my friends told me, that's, that's pretty, it works like a pretty good fixative. And I was like, okay, let's try it, you know. And I did it, and it worked. Uh, because uh, with, with varni varnish or any fixative, it kind of it knocked down all the lights on the pastel painting, like too much. And this product, I don't know why, you know, I didn't do that. I mean, that happened, but not to the extreme like, uh, like an, any other product that I tried. And after adding a layer, what I used to do is going over that again with uh, just adding the lights again, especially the highlights, you know. The, and then yeah, that worked. That, that I keep doing that for, for, for years. 
I don't know what happened with the paintings. I didn't keep track of my work. Maybe all of them are yellowish right now. Who knows? But at some point I, I stopped doing that because I started to be more worried about what's going to happen with the painting over the years. You know, and for me it was like, hey, you know, no, I'm not going to use anything because I knew that pastel is just like that. It's just like that. Why to force it to do something that it's not meant to do? Okay, and I just, uh, <clears throat> I was framing the works and I was just delivering the, the work to the clients just with a frame, with a glass. They wasn't touching the pastel. Yeah, that was the solution that I came, came out. That, that, that's the only solution, not this, you know. That's the only way to save the storage, to save it, to preserve it. But when I was a student, for me, it was just about using anything, anything and everything that I can put my hands on, and that was first thing. It needs to be cheaper. <laughs> that was the only condition. Okay. Uh, by the way, there, is, there are some links to my Patreon page, to my website, where you can find us on that. I paint commissions too. I paint portrait commissions and oil, basically. And you're going to find links to Amazon if that means if you want to buy these products. I didn't put the link to this that I'm using today. I have used mostly the Fabric Stair 72 color set. I didn't put the link, but you get into any link on my Amazon Amazon link, if you, if you look for this, I'm gonna get a, a commission. Uh, but I'm gonna put the link maybe later or tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna show again to the camera. I'm putting back to its box, here's. 72 soft pastels, mini, tiny ones. Okay. The other one that using, I have used is this uh, 24, 2000 Dior. Okay. I find both pretty nice. I have used more the other one because I, I got more colors and I have used this Stabilo Carbotello for pencils. Okay. And for paper, I'm gonna try more papers. Okay, I think that's it for today. Oh, we have uh, here somebody that's saying, uh, Andre is saying that he uses Koi Nor Fixative and it's really, it's really good. Yeah, 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 let's try it, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for today, yeah. Hope you like it, hope you have learned something and hope to see you uh, next week and please before you go press the like button <laughs> and check out my patreon account you know you can just watch more than 400 recorded live sessions because on my patreon what I have are just uh, basically live sessions today we have a th uh, today's drawing night we draw 7 30 p.m. And 
uh, Saturdays we paint uh, the morning landscape, still life, you know, a different theme every Saturday. We paint with oils one Saturday, the next Saturday acrylic, the next Saturday pastel. And some days we paint portraits, okay? If everything is uh, like smooth, suave, I'm gonna be here tomorrow, okay? I don't know, you know, I, I, that's what I want today, but who knows? Take care, everybody, okay? Thank you for being here. See? I really appreciate your support and see you all next time. Bye, take care. Oh, thank you, Mervat. Uh, bye, Nicolia. Bye, Nikki. Bye, Monique. Oh, Sylvie saying something here. I put glassine paper, glassine, gla glassine paper on it and behind a glass. Okay. John is asking me, do you also develop the same technique with, with charcoal? You the see, the kind of, you know, I follow the same principles about values, about ages, uh, proportions. It's basically the same. And I try to keep it re that really tight. Follow the rules pretty tight. Yeah. And obviously it changes, uh, but the process changes. Let's say that with oil paint, uh, speaking about patron, it's more clear the process. Okay. okay, everybody take care, bye. Mm with my camera so okay bye